Hi, good evening, Governor, and thank you so much for being here. Um, first of all, I'd just like to say that, I, that I've heard you mention a few times that this is a big job creator, and, and there is a presence of the union here, and we all understand that. But I'd like to remind everybody that it's not the job of the Energy Facility Siting Board to provide jobs to people in the state of Rhode Island. Their job is to site a power plant, whether it's needed or whether it's not needed. Um, and I do understand that people have to work. I mean, we're not, we're not trying to, we're not job killers here and we're not anti-union or anything like that. But I, again, at what cost do people have to work? Is it my health, my children's health, my grandchildren's health, or all these people in this room? Um, we're just moms and dads, we're ordinary people, we love where we live. This is a multi-generational town and a lot of people don't want to leave and nor do they have the means to leave. Um, I keep saying um and I hate that. But um, <laughs> we're fearful, and I'm not going to address the water because that was one of the things I was going to talk about, but somebody else already addressed it, so I don't want to take up any time. But people do live in fear of that. It, that is a strong, honest fear that people live with. You don't know what we went through in this town when that happened. But um, I, I'm sure if you'd ask the people of Flint, Michigan, if they'd ever trust those that were supposed to protect them again, what their response would be to that. We're here in, we here in Pasco and Boroughville understand people need to work, we get that, but again, at what cost? Haven't we learned anything? Governor, the old adage, when you know better, you do better. And I think that really applies here. We know better, we can do better. And I, we can do better together. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Terry.